quits. Ha. Ah, so EU leaders are finally ready to be BFFs with the UK again, huh? I mean, it's only been seven years since we had that little scuffle called Brexit. Uh, I can see it now. All 27 EU member states holding hands and singing Kumbaya as they develop further ties with Britain. To it. But let's be real, friends. This is like your ex suddenly wanting to be best buddies after you finally moved on. Huh? It's like they suddenly decided, oh, hey, a strong UK and strong EU means we can be valuable partners. To it. And look at that. They even wrote an article in The Guardian just to make sure everyone knows they're ready to re-engage. I mean, I've heard of a love letter, but this is next level political. I miss you. To all. Now they're talking about new partnerships and deals on science and satellite communications. Mm, but don't get too excited, folks. No re-entry to the single market or customs union. We don't want to reopen that Brexit Pandora's box. To wounds. Funny how some of these runes started to heal just when we all realized we needed each other to deal with the Ukraine-Russia conflict, huh? It's like discovering your neighbor has the same taste in Netflix shows during a neighborhood watch meeting. To it. And now there's a call to remove Brexit barriers from musicians, young people and professionals so they can work more easily in Europe. As if it wasn't already hard enough to make it in the music industry, they're finally rolling up towards the word. So I guess it's, like they say, it's always wise to stay friends with your exes, especially if you might need a favor someday. Cheers to friendship, right EU? No hard feelings about that whole Brexit thing? Quit. Just remember folks, this podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures. Stay tuned for more laughable news as we journey through the wild and wonderful world of politics.